You can do this without completely removing these rear fenders, but quite honestly, pretty easy to remove this. You just pull your knob off for your deck adjustment. There is a bolt underneath here that holds down the front of this, one on each side. Got a nut on the bottom of it. Usually the pad will hold that down enough so you don't even have to take it up. Back here next to the seat, you've got a bolt here and a bolt here on this side. And you have to take your gas cap off to get it through this hole. This one here, somebody's already bypassed the seat safety switch. We get done, I'll hook this back up. You have to take that loose to get it off of here. This knob here, you may need to take a wrench and just back this nut down because this is like a jam nut that just jams onto this. And it makes it very hard to turn this without losing loosen that nut up. The nut on this is a 16 millimeter, which is loosen this up here, half a turn or so, and then this will screw right off. If you need to, you can back that nut off too. On some mowers, you can just pull these little rubber pads off these foot pedals and then fish this up around this and pull these out. On this one, it's almost impossible. So the best thing to do is just take these 10 millimeter bolts loose down here, and then I'll take this entire foot control mechanism loose from the deck. These are 10 millimeter on the pedals themselves, and then that's a 13 or half inch. Once you get all the nuts off these foot pedals, they'll just pull right out the top here. You can get them out of the way. Then we got the four nuts off of these bolts here that hold that foot pedal mounting bracket on underneath there and I just took that down underneath here and just leave that hang there that's pretty much the only thing that holds this floorboard and fender mechanism on here we can pull this right off now and don't forget to take your gas cap off Ow! you know I forgot that wire for the seat is still going down through there This little bottle here, it just kind of presses back into the gas tank. Just pull that out. I did have to take one bolt out. There's two bolts in it. Backhand index pointing right John Deere blade change GT 225 million 235,245 GX 255 service manual. Comprehensive diagrams, in-depth illustrations, and all the manufacturer's specifications and technical information you will need is included. Manual description. This technical manual is written for an experienced technician and contains sections that are specifically for this product. It is a part of a total product support program. The manual is organized so that all the information on a particular system is kept together. The order of grouping is as follows. Table of contents. Specifications and information. Identification numbers. Tools and materials. Component location schematics and harnesses, theory of operation, operation and diagnostics, diagnostics, tests and adjustments, repair, other.